Hi, it's Pat here from Letters to My Sister. I've been op shopping. Well, I had to go to the post office today to, to send off a couple of Etsy mails, Etsy packages. And, um, you know, I had to pass two op shops on the way there and two on the way home. <laughs> How could I resist? So, without further ado, here is a piece of cloth. I think it's meant to be a tea towel. It's actually got a ticket here. It is made in China. Uh, Whilst it, it appears to have been unused, it does have some marks on it. So I'm going to have to uh, soak it in some nappy sand, whatever. But th this bun is gorgeous. I might have to, um, I'm not sure whether to sort of cut them out and use them in slow stitch kits for Easter or to just uh, sell, list it in our Etsy shop as a piece of fabric. So I will think about that. There's a very high tech marking of um, where my fabric has to be or where my pieces have to be from the same op shop was this oh it's so pretty puppy dogs anyway um yep similarly i'll give it a wash but wouldn't that make a gorgeous journal cover oh something like that oh a little oh that's so cute i can't see calvi on there but i can see some other dogs that i remember calvi's my dog yeah it's a nasty bitey one anyway <laughs> Oh, really and from the same op shop i only found three things a piece of nice uh, battenberger lace well it's a sort of small table runner or big place matt doily sort of thing here we go it's got some nice embroidery in the middle and no it's not battenberger pardon me you know lord louis battenberg mount battenberg it's just battenberg lace and that refers to this style of edging on it pretty once again it's got a couple of marks so i might see if i can get them out before i list them in our etsy shop okay that was op shop one op shop two also these for those of you in rockingham these are the op shops down near patterson road on your way towards the beach now these are i think placemats and there's a set of six and fabric's quite nice it does have a linen feel but i think it's probably just cotton and it has this rather pretty embroidery oops i had that the wrong way around well that one's the right way up uh if we can bring that right up these don't have to be used as placemats they could be used for um in slow stitch kits and journal covers three of them are pink and i think two of them not the wrong side there there two of them are this lovely green color teal maybe oh, i'm not sure maybe it's more of a mint green anyway they're rather pretty so whether to sell them as a set of six or individually i'm not sure yet now this one i saved opening this until i got home this could be a great big dud or it could be something awesome it was a big bag sold I'm going to cut it open here with my trusty scissors. Big bag sold as us. Uh, it actually says on the other side. Rag bag. But what I looked at is I really like this pattern on the, the quilted piece. And um, yeah, the quilted pieces are quite popular for slow stitch kits. So if that's suitable, and I'm taking a chance. And I, I'd love to try some eco dyeing on this, and then it could be then pieces could be used oh, with with all sorts of colours. Oh, that's a big thing. And if it's all a big dud, I make great drop sheets because I've got painting to do, painting to do on this place. I just I like, really like that pattern, and I think dyed i could try tie dyeing it it'd be fun actually it is it's like i think it's a quilt cover so the top piece has been quilted all in white i'd never be brave enough to have a white quilt cover not with my dog that sleeps on the bed with me and i know that probably horrifies some people but you know oh that's awesome <laughs> that was worth it that was worth today's expedition just on its own. Wonderful. I don't care if it's got a big ugly stain in the middle. I love it. And look, a pillowcase to match. Oh, I can experiment with this. 
this is the one I'm going to try out some different eucalypt leaves and food colouring. If you've got any suggestions, leave them in the comments or put something on our Facebook page on, on what I should use to do some dyeing. My friend Leslie will know she's been doing it for quite a few years now and she's pretty much an expert on it. Yeah, awesome. And I couldn't tell what this was. What is this? It looks really interesting too. It's kind of like a seersucker. Oh, I think that's another Duna cover. Now that also. Oh, look, this was the bargain of the day, I think. Oh, no, mind you. Wait till you see what else I got. <laughs> oh, I like that. That's that's nice. I'm running out of space, so I'm going to have to put that down here on the floor. Now, these ones didn't really inspire me just looking in the bag. That's a pillowcase. Yeah, good thing I'm planning on dying. That's got some pretty yucky stains on it. But I'll give them a good wash first, and then I will look into what I'm going to do with them. And that's just a plain... Oh, it's not a plain white tablecloth. A pillowcase. Look. It's got embroidery on it. Oh, that's quite pretty, actually. Huh. Well, there you go. You see that? Yeah. Oh, wow. Huh. This bag's just... It's the bag that keeps on giving. And what have I got here? Let's put that down. This looks like it's a little bit on the old faded side. Oh, that's pretty, though. Oh, that's rather vintage looking. I like it. I do. I don't like the outside of it so much, but I like the inside of it. Awesome score. And what was this? Oh, it's a fitted sheet. Mm, this might be, oh, that looks pretty stained. I think this might just be a drop cloth or a doggy bed. Something like that. That's okay. That was a pretty good haul there. So that was the first two op shops. Went to the post office and came home up Dixon Road in Rockingham. For those of you who are familiar with Rockingham, you might know the Care uh, Shop for a Cause shop. Okay, well, I found this. It's a drawing book, and I, I love drawing. I haven't done much for a long time. They only wanted 50 cents for it. But I thought, look, even if I don't use it so much as a drawing book, look at these amazing uh, illustrations. These could be used in junk journals. Even these, so I love that sort of thing, just in a junk journal. So it's a beautiful book, but I'll, I'll have a good look at it first and might do a bit more dabbling and drawing again, because it is good fun. So, that one. Now these, I, I haven't even really looked at them, actually. I do have to do some research. If anyone's familiar with Ramon, Ramon Ward-Thompson, it's a collection of works. And here we have the old plum tree. Unfortunately, there's no dates on anything. It's really nice quality paper, though. I think it is meant for framing. Beautiful picture. Beautiful um, piece of art. They're Australian. This is um, from New South Wales. It's the back paddocks of a farmyard near Molong. I'm not familiar with the name of that. Oh, look at the chickens. Oh, this one's nice. Rainy days and pit water. Clearing the fire trail in Medway. Rainy day in Pyramont. The boundary wall. Mud crabs. Brisbane River. Oh, they're massive mud crabs. Berrima in winter. Ah, uh, well, don't need to be told where that is. Sydney Harbour. Our nana and granddad came to Australia separately, but met on the ship. And it was carrying ballast girders for the Sydney Harbour Bridge. 1928, that was. Gum trees in Lake George. That's Lake George. Doesn't say which state. Canberra area, there you go. In Canberra, the ACT. Flying Fish, Wood River. In Idaho, USA. Ah, this artist has been travelling. Harbour Reflections in Sydney. Oh, that's nice. Low Tide Yamba. 
anyway i'm not going to go through all these now or we'll be here all night i'll just have a flick through but they're really lovely aren't they look some of these would be really very nice as journal pages i might list them in our etsy shop and if people want to buy them to frame oh the new kitten that's cute um Shearing sheds. I've worked in one of those before. Nice for your hands, all that lanolin off the sheep's back. <laughs> oh, hard on your back. Okay, that was just one of many items. What else did I find? Oh, I needed some clear uh, contact. And in a, in a day or two, I'll show you what I'm going to do with that. Or soon. And... This is part of my plan, my cunning plan. I have got a nice looking jar. That was quite cheap. I'm working on some labels, gorgeous labels, which will be in our Etsy shop. Excuse me fumbling around down here. And I'll put some pictures on when I find those or when I do those. Oh, everything's coming out of here in the wrong place. Uh, some embroidery hoops, which I thought could, oh, they could go into... Um, some slow stitch kits let's pop that out of the way so these these are really all for our Etsy shop because I do have some embroidery hoops already I found some um cross stitch kits look at those cute teddies and it's never been opened it's got all the threads and the color selection and the I think it's called Ada cloth <clears throat> Dale is more the expert on cross stitching does it have a date 1995 wow so that is vintage and another one this is the tum the teddy tum tum oh i just sorry a little bit out of out of the picture there teddy tum tum and this one was uh also teddy tum tum but they are uh, picnicking in that one and fishing in that one and I think there was a couple of more someone was a big fan of teddy tum tums this one is a bit oh look teddy tum tum and pushing a pram so they will be listed in our Etsy shop has that been started oh it has so someone started stitching it but it looks like Ah uh, yes, so there we go. All the threads are there. So yeah, we price these quite reasonably. So even you should get your money's worth in just the threads, um, as well as the eight o'clock. Put that back in there. Oh, that's got some stains on it. I might have to. Um, reconsider what I do with that one we'll see if that washes with some of those um, placemats from the first pack and here's one more that's not been open well not been used and it's um yeah a vintage car convertible vintage car with the teddy tum tums driving it that's so cute though London to Brighton oh hang on does this one not have the threads no it doesn't okay well we'll be considering how to do that unless the threads are in the bag here they might be so a few more things a few more things i've got a box here oh hang on that looks promising what's in there oh no a, one more joke it's like an old milk bottle like we used to get at school with our milk in but i've got plans for those and stay tuned to our etsy shop to see what what's happening there Oh, a pretty little embroidered hanky. It's, you know, just a little pretty. Still pretty. Now this, the box is, um, yeah, ordinary. Maybe I could recover it. Oops, it's upside down. <laughs> but it was what was in, what's inside is kind of a bit ordinary too, really. But there's some bias binding. There's some brand new threads. Most of these I'll just be using myself and some more bindings some needles cool i'm always using those more threads all oh, pair of scissors that look okay yeah they look okay oh they're good as spares anyway i'm always looking around for scissors 
never have enough of them elastic there was a couple of things in here that oh there's a little oh mystery it's one of those little memory cards oh, i could have something juicy on it <laughs> actually you know what i saw was these they look rather vintage they're um seam binding three yards so if it's in both yards and meters that makes it around about 1970s australia that's about when we had our changeover 73 or something like that um flexi lace hem facing nice real pretty and they're original packs and there's a few other bits and bobs a big old baby safety pin a bobbin needle threader oh that was there anyway they they only wanted two dollars for the whole box for when i thought oh well there's two dollars worth there easy and it says you're already beautiful here over here you're already beautiful you really don't need anything else love yourself oh well very nice affirmation from whoever owned this box originally and i'll have a look at that later if i'm a card reader let you know if there's anything juicy on there <laughs> maybe i better not okay and that was that was that from that awesome shop love the people who work in that shop now oh now i save the best to last my st vincent de paul which is on Hurrell road in rockingham had a whole bunch of samples from um you know upholstery samples so i didn't i mean i didn't even look at these in the shop i just kind of looked at the outside and thought mm, that looks nice newport melon okay so what have we got here some of these i think could make lovely journal covers or placemats or just in your slow stitch kit that one feels nice let's make sure I'm, there we go so i haven't got my ruler with me but that's probably around 25 centimeters by 50 at least oh, so i'll just flip through these because it could take a while otherwise you have no idea how many i scored i scored lots that one's pretty that's the same but different colors i've got a no sort of navy blue greens that's a nice color okay then that one's got a snippet oh there we go that's very that's sort of like a, a lounge suite might be covered in quite heavy gauge slightly corduroy feeling that one i liked similar to like what a, a, a lounge suite sort of velvety corduroy another one oh what's that looks like the top of a ship looks like the bottom of a ship hmm they feel nice uh-huh kind of velvety cognac that one's called and coffee no copper and port hmm okay but get ready there's more <gasps> tapestries Tapestries are so popular for journal covers, and look at that. Why? Oops! No, try looking again. <laughs> oh, this this tripod oh, just is not weighty enough for my camera, so I've put big weights on the back. Just stay there, will ya? How's that? Ah, just don't move. Anyway, so this that one. Oh, that's pretty. Oh, like that. Look at these lovely lines there. Oh, nice. Oh, that's lovely. Oh, we've got some writing on the back. What does it say anyway? Windsor Fabrics. Oh, it's called Juliet. It's polyester cotton and polypropylene. Oh, it looks nice on the pack too, doesn't it? Another one, another one, another, and one more under here. That's very traditional sort of colouring. Very nice. Okay, 
and you can fast forward now if fabrics don't interest you in fact that's pretty much all i've got so if if, if that's where your interest wanes then cheerio chin chin chop chop see you later ah oh, here's some more rather traditional sort of designs that was nice oh they're lovely oh i'm gonna get busy listing on etsy I finish work in about two weeks. Oh, wow. Love that. That's so classic. So, yeah, in, in two weeks when I've finished work and I've done all my marking, I can really start putting more effort into our Etsy shop, which is great fun. I love it. I love the people that we meet. Well, these are big pieces. Look at the size of that. Oh, that's nice, lovely big piece. And what have we got here? Another big piece. Mmm. Yep. Yummy. <laughs> You're gonna go, when's she gonna stop? Well, actually, there's there's a whole lot, there's about ten of these bundles, I think. Mmm, that's nice with the black background. Big piece again. We got here oh even a bigger piece again wow mm, that would make really great bags too wouldn't they strong as well and quite a solid heavyweight um quality fabric and here's some smaller these you could probably just use them as they are as placemats look at that aren't they lovely Oh, no, I like that one. So it's with a black background, are really quite striking. Oh, that's nice too. Oh, that one too. They're all dark colours. Well, they're drawing me grape leaves. Nice, more grape leaves. Oh, look what I found. Another one. Oh, I can see that. They know me down at this shop now. <laughs> I go through enough. Oh, that's nice. The same but different colourways. More grape leaves. Grape leaves. That's another nice dark one. Oh, that one's pretty. The small roses. And whoa, 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 whoa. See, I'm excited going through these because I, I didn't open, well, I couldn't open them in the shop. So I just sort of thought they all look lovely. I'm buying them. I'm getting them. There we go. Sorry, I've been a bit out of, out of range there. That's nice. Oh, that's like the little, that's nice. Ooh. Pretty. They look a bit more like poppies. No, maybe not. I don't know. Yummy. Yummy, very traditional looking again. Oh, one's different. Oh, and here we have some quite plain, well, that one is velvety. Oh, that's nice. Oh, I tell you what, if I was a customer at Letters to My Sister, I'd be hard pressed choosing which one. I better not list them all at once, I guess. That's lovely. And there's another nice big piece. Oh, look at that. Mmm. Oh, Dale, what do you reckon? This was a pretty good, pretty good shopping event. This is a lot lighter. This feels more like linen, this fabric. Oh, go that way this time. Oh, so luscious. Does, so what is it made of? Conway Rose. It is linen, 53%, 23% Model and 23% cotton. I've been out of the fashion trade for a while. I don't know what Model is. I'm imagining it's probably a synthetic. That's why it stops increasing so much. Oh, lovely. Oh. Mm. Gorgeous. There's a whole bunch of those. And... Then I'm sure there was one more in the blue bar. Yeah, hang on, back here, back here. There's more. Ah, 
<laughs> is anyone still there? Come back, we're nearly at the end. Oh, look at that. It looks really kind of embossed there. Lovely look. Mmm. It's sort of like wallpaper too. Gosh. Oh, that one's nice. I don't know. If I had to pick a favourite, I think I would be here for a long, long time choosing all that one. Mmm. Oh. That's supposed to be decluttering. Yeah. Right. That's going to happen in a hurry. Let's do two of these. Um, okay. These look, oh, look at that. That's like really textured. A little thing on there. Oh, I like that. It's got a sticker on it. Oh, it has, but Marriott Mint, it's called. Marriott Mint. And this one is called Marriott Parchment. I like that. They, they treat this with some kind of um, chemical type acid, which makes some of it shrink. But, you know, they treat it in a design. Apparently. Well, that's what they did in the 1980s when I was in this industry. But that was a long time ago. Here is a big, big piece. Gosh, that'd be at least probably a metre by... Um, 70 centimeters at least that's that's quite a big piece there okay here we've got a checkered one this is much much lighter in weight it's very nice i'm looking to see if there's a sticker to tell me what it is no there's not but that is nice it's kind of like tablecloth material which kind of indicates there might be linen that's why i get that vibe that one's fairly simple, but would be nice as a background for slow stitching. And we've got another print here. That's a big piece. And that's got that lovely linen feel too. Oh, here we go. It's an interior fabric design. Oh, it doesn't say. Oh, that is nice. That little bird knots a flower like a, looks like a morning glory. And... Oh, there's a nice little piece of um, lace here. Whoops, it's got a pin in it. That's a stretchy one. Cool, nice colour. I promise you, I'm nearly at the end. Nearly, just these. Let's have a quick look and then we can go. Oh, that's so exciting opening up this okay this one's more pieces by the looks yes that's the bottom piece of something and that's the bottom piece of something yes they've got hems on so they've been used for something hmm, that's okay oh look those pieces are quite big and this one these are more samples you tell by the way they're edged and they, they've still got the sort of finishing feel to them. Oh, those colours are nice. That's that sort of pink and teal. Which is rather lovely. Oh, that one's got a lovely design on it too. And as does that. Gosh, was that everything? Could I have brought home any more? <laughs> no, that's it. How fabulous. What fun. Keep an eye on our Etsy shop and see... Um, when these things are listed over the next sort of few weeks, months, whenever. Cheers and thank you for watching.